So I know okay. there's two diplomas, which are the New Zealand diplomas in engineering, um, two years. They are in uh, mechanical and in civil. Yes, correct. Um, what sort of students are you looking for these courses? Okay, so we we actually have two kind of streams that come into these programs. So we have our, our plus two students or, or 12th standard um, who come from, have some maths in their, in their background. Those kind of students are really, really good um, uh, candidates. And we also have students who've maybe done 10th standard and then a diploma um, offshore who can also come into the program and may be eligible for some credit for what they've what they've previously done. So yeah, so both both of those streams are perfectly suitable, and um, you know we would welcome applications from students with those profiles. Both very good programs. So the uh, outcomes in terms of salaries are very good. Often, you know, often you think a diploma is a lower level qualification, but these are not. These are quite professional qualifications where the students uh, often go to work in offices um, as draftsmen, designers for the That's engineering right. industry, uh, work with software uh, and design. Um, um, actually, my son has done a diploma in mechanical. He he's a piping designer uh, for a um, for a large oil and gas company. So you know, so lots of lots of really good opportunities for mm. students who who graduate with this qualification. Mm. Yeah. So for those, are, sorry, yeah. No, for those of you I that are sorry. Yeah. No. For those of you that are listening, just um, what mm -hmm. Carol's trying to say is with the ARP, because some of you may not be familiar with some of the terminology. I am going to get into the RPL or the cross crediting or the. Um, so what happens is if you if you are say for example from India and you've got a tenth plus a three year diploma in mechanical, which is very often in India, it's quite common. Mm -hmm. We can actually enroll you into the program and request for cross crediting for some of the papers that may maybe what you've done and maybe in here as well. Am I right, Carol? Mm. So that the duration Correct. of the course can reduce. The duration would always have to be two years to, because oh. we, we want to make sure the students are still eligible for a post-study work visa. But the the workload would reduce slightly so that you're still full-time, but instead of four courses or four papers a semester, that could reduce to three. Um, oh, so the okay. student is still full-time but gets a cost reduction in the in the fees. Okay, yeah. well, that's exactly what I was going to get to. So if the papers are reduced, mm. the fees, tuition fees would be re reflect accordingly, isn't it? Yes. So we, we would do that on an individual um, application and have a look and see what the background is and whether the student was eligible for, for any uh, credit for their prior studies. So, um, okay. yeah. So I think for credits, good. while we're on that topic, for credits, does the last qualification have to be done in the last two or three or four years? Is there a minimum time frame that you look at? Or if someone's done their studies many years ago and was working since then, would mm. that also be something that's considered for RPL process at all? I think so. I think as long as they're, they're, they've got relevant knowledge and, and background, then they, they their knowledge will be current. So I yeah. think that. That's fine. I did mention earlier uh, that Taranaki has a very strong engineering focus. So Engineers New Zealand has a very strong membership in our region. Students who, who study these programs are eligible for a free membership to Engineers New Zealand. It's a really good way of getting to know engineers, professional engineers in the industry and do some networking. So that Taranaki- fantastic. Yeah, Taranaki is a great place to come for for that kind of um, yeah that kind of interaction. Yeah. I think that's um, that's a little point that you've told us, but I think that that's a huge thing because I know any industry that you are in, mm. the importance of being associated to the industry association is paramount. Mm. It helps you not just with your constant CPD, but also gets you um, to network with other individuals, know what's happening, not know the industry. So I think that's that's fantastic. Mm. Um, I'm definitely yeah. going to take that away as a key point <laughs> when we talk about the course. Um, right. So those of you that have got visas expiring, you're looking at resetting. Maybe the November intake is a good opportunity. It is quite a while mm -hmm. ago, which means that you we can make sure that you get those visas um, if you're onshore. If you're offshore, yeah. then you've got the next um, 2021 
early mm -hmm. intake. Yes. Okay. Yes. Comes in with, you know, so they've obviously done twelves from India, or they've got yeah. no. Or if they're from South Africa, they don't have high. They've done schooling. Yeah. With these people that are wanting to get into, say, the diploma from another background, um, the two year is that an option? Is that the right profile to get into the diploma in mechanical or the civil? I think if people have the maturity to be looking at at what they've done and be willing to to try a different career path, absolutely. Those we know those students will be motivated. They've absolutely. already they've already had. Um, a wrong choice they don't want to repeat that so they're very motivated students so um i think that experience uh we can look at their their experience and their background so definitely they they would have an opportunity in this program okay that's really encouraging because mm -hmm. um i get that question asked every day um, yes. a lot of these people that have been here they want to get into trades and trades is really not an international education space because the way it's been delivered mm -hmm. through apprenticeships um and so then they would yes. try and look at what other areas can they actually pursue a career where sure. can they actually learn their skills and actually get on to having a career rather than just kind of just scrambling around so if yes. these people without having you know a previous mechanical or engineering or whatever background can into get into these level five and six courses that would that's mm. brilliant yeah I think so. I think it's a, it's a great choice. Brilliant.